this for software are the best photo editing software for beginners. So if you're just starting out and you don't know what software to use, the first software I recommend you using is the Evoto AI. The software is really easy to use. All you have to do is move a couple of slider and you're going to get amazing professional looking results. Here's how it works. So after you install the Evoto AI, if you want to get this Evoto AI, I believe you can get it in the short below of this video, all right? So after you install it, the first thing you want to do is to create a project. So I'm going to come to my project right here and just rename this project video. And for me, all I have to do is import the pictures I want to use. So I can click on this plus icon right here and just import the picture I want to edit. Or I can just click and drag the pictures to this place right here. So I'm going to look for the picture which I want to edit. So I come to my pictures. So this is the picture I want to use. I'm just going to click on open. I'm just going to open this picture for me inside of Evo 2. Now to edit this image, all you have to do is come to this portrait editing right here and we'll automatically select when the picture is male or female or child. As you can see right now, it automatically detects it's female. Now to remove the blemishes from the image, just come to this blemishes remover and just move the slider up and it will automatically remove the blemishes for you. As you can see, the before and the after. Also, come to this body blemishes. So any blemishes on the body, just move this slider up and it will automatically remove any blemishes on the body as well. Also, you can reduce the shine on your image. So if the so if you want to remove the shine on the nose or, or the jaw, just come to this reduce shine and just take it down a little bit and just take it up a little bit rather and it's just going to reduce the shine. So like I said, it's super, super easy to use. Right now, let's do the scale touching. I want to close this tab and just come to this skin retouching right here and just move this face smoothing up like this. So this is going to do dodge and bone for us. And also move this face smoothing. It's going to do our focus separation for us. Like I said, super easy to use. And if you're a beginner, you should try this out. So I'll come to this body smoothing again and just move this body smoothing up like this. I'm just going to smoothen out the body. So take a look at the before and after. So this is the before and the after the before and the after. And just by moving a couple of slider, we've already retouched this image and the result is amazing. So you can use this image like this. Now, what if you're a beginner and you don't know how to color grade? Well, inside of Oto, there's a building color grade preset and filters that you can use. Just come to your color adjustments right here. And just click on this AI color lookup right here. And you're going to see you have different options right here. So let's try this neutral. So I'm going to click on this neutral. Let's see the effect. You can see for the neutral. So see the before and the after you can see the color grading and if you feel it's too much you have the ability to just move amount or the intensity down a little bit to apply little effect of the color grading all right so you can see the way it is right now also you have different options to choose one so let's try this logic test right here i'm going to click on this logic test right because i really like using this one it's what i use most of the time so you can see it so the before and the after so i feel it's too much so i'm going to take it down a little bit just like this okay and like this works for me and also you have filters for portrait image like this so just come to your filter right here and just click on more so we have different filters to choose from so you can try this portrait one you can see the effect portrait two portrait three portrait four i like this portrait four so just reduce the intensity of any one you like so you have the ability to reduce the amount or add amounts to it so this portrait four works for me so the before and after now this editing and retouching is not bad for a beginner at all let me just zoom so you can see the effect so see the before and the after the before and the after so much better and super easy to use now the second software is adobe lightroom as someone who is just starting out if you dedicate just an hour of your time learning how adobe lightroom actually works you understand that it's not as complicated as it seems also adobe lightroom is arguably one of the best photo editing software in the world let me show you a quick way you can actually use this to edit your image so we're going to import pictures to this library right now so just click on your import right here and just select just look at your folder where your pictures are the one you want to import i'm going to open this class so i'm going to import these two images right here click on import i'm just going to import those image now, if you want to edit your image, just come to your um, develop right here and you are going to see the image which you import right here. So these are all the images I have inside my Lightroom right now. So to edit these images, I'm going to come to my develop tab right here and you can just select any one you want to edit and start 
working on it. Now, I personally used Lightroom to process my RAW file before actually taking it into Photoshop or Skillet or change. Now, to edit this image, so on the right hand side, I go to see this adjustment layer. So, click on this adjustment right here. We are going to see your white balance, your tone, your presence. Also, you have your curves, you have your color grading slider. So, you can do a lot with the Lightroom right now. But I'm going to show you the basics. And if you want to watch how Lightroom actually works, you can check out this place right here. It shows you how Lightroom works from start to finish. All right. Now, let's say I want to edit this image. I'm not going to come to my exposure and just take the exposure up a little bit like this. All right. Also, I'll bring down the highlights a little bit like so. And also, open up the shadows a little bit. Then, I'll see if I can play with the white balance and see. Just I'll check it towards the warm side. Like this works for me. So, let's quickly see the before and the after. Now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. Also, if I want to mask out the subject and just work on the subject separately and work on the background separately, I can just come back to my masking right here. Once I come to my masking, I'm going to click on subject right here. And just going to select the subject to me. Now, any adjustment I make is going to affect only the subject as you can see. But if I want to work on the background, I can just click on create new mask and just select background right here. And any adjustment I make is going to affect the balance. So I want to take the exposure of the background down a little bit, like so. So let's say the before and after, the before and the after. And like I said, there's a lot you can do with Lightroom. And if you want to watch more Lightroom tutorial, check out this playlist right here. Okay. Now the third software is the Capture One software. Now for me personally, I prefer the Capture One to Lightroom, but they are basically similar. And I'm going to show you why I prefer the Capture One to Lightroom. Now. The same thing with the Lightroom. If I want to edit this image, I'll just come to my Adjust tab right here. I'll come to my High Dynamic Range. I'm just going to open up the shadow. Once I open up the shadow, I'll take down the highlights a little bit. Also, come to the exposure. Open up the exposure just a little bit. Bring down the highlights down even more, just like this. So, let's see the before and after. See the before and the after. The before and the after. And just like a Lightroom, we also have colors tab right here, which you can actually use to color grade your image. So there are different colors tab right here that you can use to color grade your image. Now, the reason why I prefer the capture one to Lightroom is because of this skin tone right here. So let's say I want to even out the skin tone of this image. First of all, I'm just going to select the subject because I don't want the effect to affect the background. So I'll come to my layer and mask and just click on select subject right here. And Capture One AI will automatically select our subject for us. So if I just press M on my keyboard, you are going to see the selection. And if I press M again, I'm just going to hide the mask. Now, I'm going to come to my skin tone and just select this picker tool right here and sample any part of the skin I want the rest of my skin to look like. So I'm going to sample this part right here. Once I sample it, I'll come to the uniformity and just move the hue of the uniformity up and the saturation of the uniformity up a little bit just to even out the skin tone. So take a look at the skin tone see the before just take a look at it see the before and the after they're looking even now if you feel the effect is too much you can just come to the opacity of this mask and just reduce the opacity so this is one reason i actually prefer capture one to lightroom and the other reason that make me prefer capture one to lightroom is this icc profile right here if i just come to this base characteristic i can change the icc profile of the picture so let's say i want that like i feel i really like that like i feel for um that skin tone so I come to my ICC profile, I just change the base characteristics to that Leica. So you have different camera to choose from. You have Sony, you have Nikon, you have Canon. So I'm going to come to my Leica right here and click on Leica M Monochrome right here. I'm just going to change the profile of the image. So this is another reason I prefer Capture One to Lightroom. So if you're just starting out and you also dedicate just an hour of your time learning how Capture One actually works, you are going to see it's really, really easy to use. And that's why I'll be leaving a link to more Capture One tutorial in the show below. Of this view and finally the fourth software for photo editing or anything photo related is adobe photoshop no software or application comes to photoshop when it comes to photo editing so if you're a beginner please take your time to learn and master how photoshop actually works because it's your go-to software for skin retouching especially if you do skin retouching photoshop is your go-to software there are literally unlimited things you can do with Photoshop if you can master Photoshop. I am going to take your photo editing or your photo retouch skill to a whole new level. And if you want to know how to retouch your image from start to finish using Photoshop, check out this video right here. See you guys in my next one. Stay creative.